going to be continuing on with verbs today. First looking at our past form, our TEF form, and our negative past form. 今日は19日11月2018年 This is the sheet I'll be using throughout the lesson if you just want to check out the YouTube description box for a link to this document. First thing we're going to be looking at is past form for our RU verbs. Pretty simple, all we do is drop that final RU and then put TA in its place. So we've got DERU, DETA Steru, steta. And if we have a bit of a longer sentence, oyatsu o tabeta. So oyatsu is a snack. So oyatsu o tabeta. I ate a snack. And ega o mita. Now ega is a movie, so ega o mita. Watch the movie. Next up is u verbs. A little bit more involved here. We basically are splitting u verbs up into four categories. And they're in this table here. The first category only has one entry. And that's all verbs that end in su. Here we're using hanasu. Now the su becomes a shita. So the end result is hanashita. And this is the same with every single verb that ends with su. So for example, we might have unagasu, which is to encourage someone. Unagashita. Next group we have is verbs that end in ku or gu. And we replace the ku with ita. So our example here for ku is kaku, to write. So we drop the ku and replace ita, so it becomes kaita. And the verb we have next is oyogu. Now this is to swim. So we replace gu with ida, and this is oyoida. Our next group has three entries. They are mu, bu, and nu. So our first one, we have nomu. And this changes to nonda. The next one we have is asobu, which is to play. And we change this bu to nda, just like we did with mu to nda. So we end up with asonda. And finally, we have nu. Not many choices here for verbs. So we're going with shinu, which is to die, but shinda, because we replace the nu with nda. Last category has also three entries. And that's any verbs that end in ru, u, or tsu, which are u verbs. So we have kiru, and kau, and motsu. And all three of these go to a little tsu and a ta. So we have kitta, katta, motta. Now, one interesting thing to note here is that we can also now make our tef form. Because once we've made our pass form, which we'll call the ta form. We replace the ta with te, or the da with de, and then we have the te form. So for example, we could have motte, oyoide, asonde, hanashite. Now we're gonna look at a bit later at the te form and why it's really useful, but for now, just know that it's a very good verb conjugation to know. Last bit we have to do for u verbs is look at some exceptions as well. So we have our usual suspects, suru and kuru. So we just have to memorize these as shita and kita. But we also have iku, so to go. This is a special exception as well. And this becomes ita. Otherwise, it follows all the other usual verb conjugations. So finally, we're going to look at negative past for all verbs. So we just take the negative of the verb in the plain form, remove the i from that last nai, and then replace it with katta. So iku goes to first ikanai, so make the negative first, then replace that last i with katta, ikanakatta. So ikanakatta didn't go. Suru did the same thing, first go negative, shinai, remove the last i and put it with katta, shinakatta. So it didn't go. And here we got kaeru, kaeranai, kaera nakatta. So didn't go home. Now to do that with the must form, we do the kind of the same thing, make the negative must form first, and then we add deshita. So we have iku, ikimasen, ikimasen deshita. Suru, shimasen, shimasen deshita. All right, that's kind of stage one of our verbs introduction all done now. We've learned the most important conjugations, so past, negative, negative past, present, plus our must form. We're going to do a bit more on this, but for now we've got a very good understanding of the basics of verbs. 
Tune in for the next video as we move through our beginner playlist and I'll see you there. Thanks.